Hi, it's Jonathan from Builder Webs, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create a Stripe account and how you can also link your Stripe account to WooCommerce. So you can start taking payments using credit cards. So, in terms of fees, there's a link in the description that shows the different fees. So, to start taking payments using Stripe, the first thing you want to do is head into WordPress and then go to plugins. Click on add new and search for WooCommerce Stripe Gateway and you want to find this one. Click on install now and choose activate. Then we'll go WooCommerce on the side and then to settings, click on the payments tab. And then you want to enable this one, Stripe credit card. Click on this little cog to enable, and it's the same to disable. And now what you can do is create a Stripe account. If you already have an account, click on the next timestamp at the bottom and keep following the video. If you haven't got one, follow along here. So to sign up for a Stripe account, head to this page, there's a link in the description, put in your email address, your full name, the country you're from, password, and then click on create account. The next thing you'll want to do is click on activate payment. And you're basically going to fill out all this information. So I'm from the United Kingdom, so I would pick the United Kingdom, but you could, for example, pick the United States, then pick what type of business you are. And then you can keep on progressing through your, all the different information. Fill in all this information here, and then same as you go through. Fill out all the relevant things, put in your bank details, you'd like the money to go to, that's when things are being purchased from the site. You can set up two-factor authentication. You can choose whether you want it to do automatic tax and different things. And finally, you'll finish on this page. And then all you need to do is submit it. Behind the scenes, I'm going to fill all my information out that's personal to me. And then I'm going to click on submit and you'll see me on the next page. You'll then land on this page here. And that's your account set up. You now have a Stripe account. So now we're going to see how you can test out Stripe with WooCommerce. So the first thing you want to do is click on test mode and then click on developers. I'm going to head back into WooCommerce and we're going to click on here, end account keys. So if you already had a Stripe account, you would have just clicked on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the test information up first. So we need to look for the publishable key. So if we head back in and we make sure our test mode's enabled and we go to API keys, we can just click on this and it will copy it. We'll paste the publishable key in here. And then we need to find the secret key. So we'll just click on secret key reveal test key. Again, we just click on it to copy it and we'll paste it in here. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to create a webhook. So we can just basically take a copy of this up to WC underscore stripe. And then all we need to do is click on webhooks, scroll down and click on add an endpoint. And the link that we took from here. We're basically going to paste over here and we're going to say test webhook. You can call it whatever you like. And then we're going to click on select events and we're going to choose charge. 
I'm going to choose charge captured. Don't worry about the code on the right, that's for something else. Click on add events and then click on add endpoint. The next thing we're going to do is click on where it says sign in secret here, we're going to click reveal and we're going to basically just copy and paste this code and we're going to drop it over this webhook and we're going to test the connection to see if it works. Connection successful and all we need to do is save the test keys and it says now you can accept payments. The next thing we're going to do is just check that we've got enabled test mode here and we're going to have a look at the settings. So you can change how it displays on the screen here. So where it says credit card stripe, if you see the checkout here, that's just basically this. So we'll just head back into here and you can put whatever description you want. Again, you can choose whether enabled or disabled test mode by using the click. And just underneath it shows that the test mode is enabled. If for example you wanted to disconnect this Stripe account to this website, you just click on these dots here and choose disconnect. If we go further down, you've got payment settings here where you can choose to enable payments via save card. So if somebody decides to choose that option to save the payment information, the next time they come into the store, they can use that information again. You've got enable separate credit card form. So if it if this is ticked, it will look like this. If for example, it's unticked, it'll look like this. You can leave it however you want. So then if we go down, there's different settings that you can play about with. You've got full bank statement. So as you can see, as it plays with under there, You've also got the option to add a custom order number to the bank statement. So you can click on, you can click that and you can put a shortened name in this box. So as you can see, Builder Webs and then the order number, but you could, for example, you, you could play about with it, but you only get 10 characters there. And that's the main settings. So now that that's saved, we'll head over to the website and we'll make a test purchase and we'll purchase this chair add it to the cart and then we'll check out so you'll see that credit card stripe is enabled there and we're basically just going to take this number and we're going to put this in here put an expiry date against it and we're going to make the payment so you just click on plus order and here's the order confirmed. If we head back into WordPress and we're going to WooCommerce, we can see that the orders come through. So we just click on this one here, $60 for the chair. And then if we go into Stripe and we click on Payments, we'll see that $60 has just come through. And here it is. I'm going to be doing tutorials on Stripe in general to see what all the different things mean so we can try this out. So please subscribe to see more. I'll now show you how you can set up the live integration information so you can start taking actual payments. So you want to head into here in Stripe and you want to untick test mode. So then I'll just go back to the home page. And what we're going to do, we're going to click on developers and we're going to add the API keys in. So we're just going to copy this one, the publishable key, 
And in WooCommerce, we'll go back to the settings page. We'll click on payments. And we'll click on manage on the Stripe one. We'll click on settings. And then whether the option is here, edit account keys, we'll click on that. And we're going to click on live. So we're going to paste the publishable key that we've just copied from here in. And then we're going to pick the secret key. So reveal secret key. Just choose to reveal it. Copy this. And we're going to paste this in. And then we're going to take a copy of this. We're going to go into Stripe. Just click on that. Click on webhooks. We'll go down and we're going to click it as an endpoint. We're going to paste the link that we got from here into here. And we're going to call it live webhook. You can call it whatever you like. Click on select events. Then choose charge. Then charge captured. And then click add events. Then click on add endpoint. And then we're going to click on sign secret here. And we'll click on reveal. We're going to copy this. And then we're going to click on test connection. Connection successful. Save live keys. And as you can see, everything's active here. Again, if you wanted to just disconnect this website from that Stripe account, you can just click disconnect. And then if you want to start taking live payments, you just basically untick this, click save changes, and then you can start taking payments on the website. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and if it has, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to future videos where I'll be showing much, much more. I'm Jonathan from Builderwebs and thank you for watching the video.